In this video, I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of what it has been like to create content in multiple languages by leveraging AI. So I currently have a video TV show podcast that I have in English and Spanish. And what I'm trying to do is the videos that are in English, translate them to Spanish and vice versa. In this way, I'll be able to amplify and create a global brand. So if you're interested in doing something like this, let me show you what that looks like. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing that specific AI, or at least one of them, and give you my honest feedback. I am not getting paid by this app to be able to promote them, so you'll get all of the scoop. So let me get started with that. The tool that I use is rask.ai. And just for reference, let me see. Um, people can start with as simple as $50 per month and they get 25 minutes included and it goes up from there. So you just select the plan that you feel most comfortable with. And here's the thing, they also have monthly billing, so you don't have to do an annual thing. And they also give you a free trial. So if you just want to play with it, that's also something you can do. So when I go inside of Rask, I upload the video and then it, it gives me the version, um, the original version and the version that I'm cloning it to. I'd, it also mimics my voice, which is pretty weird when you listen to yourself in a note, you know, like, and it also, I have an accent, so it also copies my accent but it's just the funniest thing to witness myself speaking as a machine in another language. Okay, just that's something you're gonna have to get used to because it does feel a little bit weird. My challenges with this is that it's not necessarily perfect and there are things that maybe make sense in English, but they make no sense in Spanish. So you can definitely adjust the copy of things and make sure that you can word it properly. So it does give you that capability of doing that. And it also does lip sync, which means that it goes into the video and makes sure that it looks like the, as if you're talking with it. I personally don't like it. I would much rather people know and feel that, yeah, this, this has definitely been dubbed. Um, doing this in the past before AI would have cost me an arm and a leg. And definitely this, helps but you do have to invest the time to be able to get it in in a way that you would feel comfortable with so i with this i would love to invite you to watch one of the latest episodes i interviewed a wonderful amazing entrepreneur women that turn one business into multiple businesses and she's now an author so i love for you to check out the story tell me what you think did you like the translation did you not like it i would love to get your feedback on that and if you love the content if you check it out and you like it i would love for you to subscribe that is something we would love to do more of interview more people more amazing humans who are here to do good in the world so with that, that's a little bit of the preview of what it would look like to actually translate and amplify one video into multiple videos. And what I did was that every person who's invited into Leaders with a Mission, they get like a marketing package. They get the actual video, they get um, like a bunch of reels, like with highlights of what they said, they get pictures. So I was able to repackage this to add more value for this amazing human who came to the show and now she can actually use her content in English and Spanish. And now we're actually opening a channel in English and Spanish in Roku TV. So if you happen to have Roku TV and you just say Leaders with a Mission, you're gonna find our content there. Um, but you can also watch this in YouTube and I would love if you subscribe. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions about this and if I can answer them, I will definitely do that. Sending you a big, big kiss. Un besito a todos. Bye-bye.